Welcome back to another video, YouTube. You already know who it is and what it is. This is Life with OG. And we have a breaking story that I want to bring to y'all's attention. Let's get it. Years ago. How many shots did you hear? Too many. Was too many. <laughs> Can you give us a, a I can't. I couldn't even count. It was way too many. October 7th, 2015, a party in Southwest Atlanta. Neighbors playing a game of dominoes for money. Two armed men walked in demanding the cash. The game only amounted to about $30. That's one night I will never forget. An armed robbery over $30. One prosecutor's recall botched. They shot and killed Marquis Stevens. They took a lot away from me. They took a lot away. Marquise was 41, a beloved husband and dad, Gloria Dean's son. I know he gone, but it's just hurt me so bad still. It's been eight years. It's been eight years. Two men charged and convicted, one of them, Kevin Reeves. Facial recognition identified him. Did you know that originally, that facial recognition was involved? I didn't. She didn't even know what the technology was back then, but detectives did. At the crime scene, a witness told Atlanta police they recognized the suspect from this Instagram picture. Investigators ran that photo through facial recognition, but it was not officers that used the software for this case. Now serving B-303. Police asked the Georgia Department of Driver Services. They had staff do the facial recognition search of their driver database and give the results back to officers. In court, Gloria Dean did not understand these details, but she knew the right person end up in jail. It all helped the Atlanta detective solve her son's murder. He did a wonderful investigation. Yeah, anything ever happened, I, was, I want him. <laughs> because he was thorough. Although Detective Jerry and Shepard had a positive match from facial rec, he still did not mm. arrest. Instead, right Hold up, huh? All right, rest in peace is his brother right here. So apparently in Atlanta, Georgia, it was just a normal day, just kicking it with the homies, playing some dominoes for a couple dollars. Nothing too serious, not too high. Probably getting drunk, probably getting high, just kicking it. You feel me? Uh, I feel like this whole situation right here, it, it, it either was an inside job or it was like, some brewing beef that somebody probably had issue with this dude and was like conquering up a plan on how to take him down. So they probably knew, okay, shit. That's why I feel like it was an inside job. Cause I'm like, okay, you went to the crib, stormed in there. Everybody get your hands up. You feel me? And you just brutally murder dude. Because from, from the recording, it said he was shot multiple times. So to me, it don't just seem like it was a robbery. The robbery just, they just, they try to make it seem like, okay, we about to stick their ass up. But the whole time, anytime it's a, it's like a crime of passion. Anytime it's um, more than one or two shots, they consider it a crime of passion. So I felt like. The reaccounts of how many times the sh there um there were shots, and then only thirty dollars on the table, and then you took his life the way y'all did. It just feel like allegedly that's what they said. It just felt like yo, it was just uncalled for. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he deserved to have his life taken. So I mean, it, I feel like it has to be a deeper story than that. Like it, they had, of course, they had to know who he was. And what was the motive behind it? Um, again, man, violence, man, violence is not the way to go. Again, if you got beef or you got an issue with somebody, talk it out. If it can't be talked out, just turn the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's um, as men, we shouldn't be as emotional and um, holding grudges, being upset. 
uh, having revenge, taking it out on someone because of whatever the issue was, whether it was a female disagreement, whatever it was, a fallout. It shouldn't have to escalate to the point where you pick up a firearm and take somebody's life. I keep telling y'all every day, it's not worth it. Now these two gentlemen sitting in jail, probably for the rest of their life. I mean, one might get off, but I, you know what I'm saying, I might get a lesser sentence. At the end of the day, do lost his life. Your family lost your life because they will never see you again unless it's uh, in a penitentiary behind bars um, or behind that glass. I don't think it was worth it because at the end of the day, it's like when these shootings occur, when lives are taken, if and when you're apprehended, what's next for you? So, so did you not have any dreams or plans like this person, like like the person that you took the life from, did you not have any plans or admirations to inspire to be somebody in your life? Because I'm sure this guy did. You know what I'm saying? Was it just thug life? You know what I mean? Was that was that how y'all was living for real? Because I'm pretty sure your mama wanted something better for you in life. Uh, we got to choose a better path for life, make a lot more better decisions, man. Uh, There's too many people being taken from this earth at an early age or too soon because of gun violence so let this be a lesson to y'all man about the sucker you keep on because you never know who gonna line you up or who got beef with you always keep your eyes open man keep a small circle uh, watch how you move uh, don't let nobody know where you move and stay smooth this is OG and I'm out man